and i'm here with the brightest one of the brightest talents of indian chess kartikeyan murli kartikeyan now no longer a talent you are a full fledged gm very strong have beaten the best players in the world how are you doing yeah i'm fine sagar how are you i'm very good i'm very excited that you are part of the chess super league what are your thoughts yeah i'm also very excited uh, I, i haven't got any chance like this for a while so uh, i'm very happy that i got a chance in this chess super league and uh, it's also very interesting you know like uh, the team composition like uh, there are many players in different age groups and in different levels so it's going to be exciting and i i'm very happy that i'm part of uh, the super league yeah your team is called ruthless rooks do you like the name mm-hmm. Yeah of course yeah. it's very, it's very innovative <laughs> yeah the ruthless rooks and you have a team of rajabov harshit raja yourself so there are two rajas that's what harshit told me i i was not aware he, he, you, and then you are there then there is uh, two very strong female players anna muzichuk harika and uh, saina salonika who's also very talented uh many people have said that this is one of the favorites uh, favorite teams in this tournament do you also feel so uh okay being part of the team i don't know whether i am allowed to say that but uh, yeah of course uh, <laughs> uh i think yeah we are one of the favorites at least if not the favorite i think we are one of the favorites at least yeah also rajapo yeah. recently played very well at the mm-hmm. champions chess tour he beat magnus carlsen he was in yeah. great form so that and harika is very rock solid uh, and mm-hmm. she hardly loses a game uh, at online olympiad or be it uh, world team championship So that all all augurs very well. Yeah, yeah, of course. Like, yeah, Raja was in very good form. Like, he beat Bangus Carlson in the uh, chess tour, and yeah, everyone is in very uh, good form. So uh, I hope uh, we will give our best. Yeah, absolutely. And what do you think about this rule of swapping? You know, uh, in some games, if you decide to swap in your team, you will go to board number one. Raja will come to board number two, and then if the other team does not swap. you may play players like anish giri nakamura um ding legend and so on yeah it's very interesting rule i mean uh, uh, okay so far we just know that we can you know like uh, fourth board can play in third board third board in second like that but this kind of swap thing is like uh, very interesting like yeah we get, we get a chance like if we get a chance we will play one of the strongest uh, gms in the world so yeah i'm very happy that uh, we got Uh, i'm getting a chance to participate uh, in this tournament and to play with more uh, strong grandmaster so yeah, it's a very interesting rule like uh, yeah very innovative and very interesting i like the rule very much okay we are also very interested to see how you will play against the best players in the world because right now the game that we are going to see and ask the viewers is one of your best games ever i would say and i think it's one of the best games to be played in recent times um in fact many have dubbed this as the greatest i'm not going to say what because then you'll get the move uh so right now it's the game the position is between ali reza firuja who's white and kartikeyan who's black just to give you some context ali reza had moved his knight to d2 kartikeyan had taken on d4 and then ali reza played his knight to b3 and this is the position what should black play here is the question kartik and can you give us a bit of context for this game where was it played and how important was it and so on yeah like uh, this was uh, played in uh, asian continental in china uh, at that time uh, you know like uh, my strength was kind of uh, drop like uh, i had very bad tournaments like i had two bad tournaments in uh, Uh, delhi and in uh, national seniors in uh, jammu so after that uh, i won this gibraltar second place in gibraltar and then i was you know uh, regaining my strength so uh, i was at the regaining phase and uh, at that time this game happened so it was like uh, we were in the top and uh, myself and arirasa were jointly leading the tournament i think and then uh, i won this game uh, in a very good manner so yeah it was quite interesting you know like being given the tournament situation you no know, all the pressure and all and to play this kind of game in at that scenario is uh, something i will be really proud of yeah yeah absolutely and guys pause the video and try to figure out what you what did black do here 
and karti can you tell us what was your move yeah the move was of course by all the you know like uh, <laughs> build ups you can you would have guessed the move the move is uh, of course a queen sacrifice so queen to c3 queen takes c3 boom queen is sacrificed and it's supposed to be worth 9 points but it gives itself up for a piece which is 3 points worth but after takes he takes the bishop so already you have two pieces but in a way if you see your three points down kartikeyan mm-hmm. and yeah. also it's not even like you know uh, he has to take here and then the structure is horribly ruined he played the move f3 and his position looked okay like how did you decide on this sacrifice ah okay the main thing is that uh, for me to realize that i am not worse here like uh, if it's like very complicated or unclear then i would have hesitated to go for this but i ca- got this feeling that i am not worse here like i thought uh, at the least i can you know go against c4 pawn and then you know sacrifice c3 pawn for the c4 pawn and c3 pawn and then get some position where we, there'll be mutual chance or something like that yeah uh, that's the main thing i went for this and the other reason is of course i calculated some lines so that uh, that was some kind of a support you know to go for this yeah mainly kartikeyan played on the dark squares after this yeah. he brought his knights like this and i mean it was a great game we have it uh, on chess base india with kartikeyan's thoughts after the game he had analyzed it and guys you can go over this beautiful if you haven't seen it you are missing out something in your chess life please do have a look at it so karthi we have, we the viewers got a glimpse of what you can do and we mm-hmm. hope that you will do that in the chess super league as well uh, which is starting from the 11th of october and that your team ruthless rooks will be dominating the event yeah i hope so i hope to give my best in the tournament okay you, see you bye thank you bye bye